Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. Let's start out maybe with, with just kind of the general, you know, state of the state of the planet um, from your perspective and, and what are we moving through as a humanity right now, and then I want to talk about your story. Awesome. Well, I loved your ascent, you know, process earlier about connecting to the earth and talking about ascension, and that's something I've really noticed right at the turn of the year, and I'm mm. noticing it even more as we go further into 2018, is that the veil is slowly coming down, the veil from the other side to us is slowly coming down and people's sensitivities are going up and this makes energy and everything that we do it makes it more energetically like aware we're more aware of energy how it affects us and how it affects our lives it's coming yeah. down really slowly but i noticed more and more people are getting more sensitive and the angels say It'll probably take about two to three years to come all the way down, but it's happening right now. It's amazing. Why is it, do you think, that while all this energy is coming down, there are people still suffering who are trying maybe to have a breakthrough in their life, and it just doesn't seem like maybe it's materializing as fast as they want or maybe even materializing at all? You know, I would, what I've realized is during these times, especially while the veil's starting to come down, the ascension process is going on, if we're not staying spiritually centered in some way, which is going inside, if we're constantly going outside, outside, outside for validation and not checking with that inside and staying centered, it can throw us off balance. So I notice more people who are not, using the angels or being centered, it's harder for them. It's a harder time for them, and it's harder for them to connect. So my goal is to get you to use the angels for help for, with all this because it's harder without them. Mm. I agree. I mean, if there is this higher dimensional help, if there is all this high vibration or these energy portals that they can open up and sort of bring it into our life to make it easier, we absolutely should. Um, and you have a very interesting story because you had – this gift show up at childhood, and you suppressed, and you suppressed, and you suppressed. Take me back there to that time. What was going on, and how was the gift starting to manifest for you? What was it looking like? When I was about four or five, I started seeing people in my room. They would stand around the bed, and they'd have a hat on. They'd be you know, from different time periods. And I would run and tell my mom, I saw this. Someone's in my room. But I was never afraid of them. I just thought they were hanging out. I'm like, there's people here. And she'd say, no, there's not. <laughs> so <laughs> I got told, no, there's not several times. And you just, as a kid, you just start to believe that. And, you know, you, you also feel the energy. You know, kids are really aware of energy. I, I, I remember feeling that it really upset mm. my mom. I remember feeling that she didn't like that. And I just didn't want to upset her. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I repressed it. Um, probably until my 20s when I started doing music. It came back through music. It would come in the same way that music did. I would know it, right. I would hear it, and not know how I was getting it. It's the same way loved ones would talk to me or they would tell me something about the person next to me. And it started to make sense more of why I was getting it, and it would help people. I'm like... This is actually helping people. Yeah. 
it was yeah. different than when I was a kid. It was upsetting people, and I realized it could help. Yeah. It comes in very clearly for you. I mean, there's a lot of stories. Uh, Allison, you know, our, our marketing manager, she shared yeah. a reading, you know, privately. She's like, you just won't believe this. I won't share the story, but it was so detailed, and there were things that you knew about the person that was coming in for her that were just – there was no other way, but it had to be – the real thing. Why does it come in so clear, and how do you see it? What comes in? What type of things come in? I guess there's a couple questions there, but I mean, just share us kind of what is going on when some of the wisdom, some of the higher energy and, and knowledge from spirit and angels comes into you. The coolest thing, and talking about the veil coming down, is when when our loved ones cross over, the veil's down. There's no veil. Mm-hmm. They see our mm-hmm. future. So they come in in the reading, and the only reason I tap into them is because they're around the person asking the questions. They're with them. They see their future. They tell me what they see because they see it. That's how I know. And it's fascinating what they are able to see, what they're able to do, what they're able to help with, protect Angels also see the same way, but in an even broader perspective, you know, uh, perspective, longer, further out, and even higher up. But our loved ones mm. can really help us. They can see what's coming. Mm. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about some of the things that we can kind of begin to notice, perhaps if there's an angel in the room. And I'll let people know we are going to give you some one-on-one help today. So send in your questions. I'm going to jump to customer questions in just a moment. Many times, I think most of the time, you guys and girls know the right things to ask, maybe more than me at times, because you know we want to guide this around you. But what what are some of the signs that maybe an angel is around or that someone, maybe from the other side, is trying to contact us? Probably the most common basic sign is the lights, electricity lights, flickering hmm. The phone acting up, the phone line blowing out. My phone is always going out. I mean, it's always yes. Elect- electricity and high vibrational beings, loved ones who are in the light, and angels and spirit guides vibrate on the same frequency as electricity. Mm. Now, on the flip side, energy that's not in the light or lower energy, people who haven't ascended yet, resonate with water. So they're going to mess with the pipes, the plumbing, leaks. Um, They also could cause a smell in the house, like a like a rusty or mineral smell, almost like sulfur water um, or sulfur. Those are those are the the, probably the biggest ways um, that are real obvious when you know which kind of energies in your home or around you or trying to get your attention. Um, And in other ways, when things start repeating, so you hear one thing out of someone's mouth and then you go down the street and you hear it again from someone else and then you hear it on the radio and then you see it on a billboard, that's angels. Interesting. Yeah, they come through more than one voice. And that's if it's repeating like that for you, the angels are going to get it to you, and it'll, it'll repeat and get louder and louder until you get it. <laughs> mm. All right. I want to know, does anyone ever have any things repeating in their life or any themes or colors or numbers or words? Mm. Let us know. Now, the other thing that you do, Debbie, that's very unique, I think, among angel readers is you actually utilize the power of the higher realms to help people energetically Heal, and I know you've called on Archangel Michael to pull energy from people's auras or their bodies or their energy fields. Tell me about that. It's a little different than just a reading. It's actually the possibility of an angelic healing. The angels run consciousness. That's how they're able to get like all those voices to repeat, you know, the same message to us. It's how they're able to give me information in a reading. They affect the consciousness. So the way they heal is through consciousness. So they can actually tap in to someone's soul, which is their consciousness, their spirit, their energy field, and they see right where it's blocked in the body, in the mind, whether it's in this lifetime or another. I honestly still can't really explain how they do it. I can just see them do it. 
They identify it, they remove it, and pull it out of the spirit or out of the consciousness. It's fast. It, it's, it's the fastest way to heal. Angels are the fastest way to heal. Wow. Okay, we are going to be opening that up for a lot of people. <laughs> what are some of the questions uh, that uh, people ask uh, when you get when you give folks readings? A lot of a lot of what I've worked with is lately is um, people are in a lot of fear about a certain situation, so they have a business decision to make or something about the children or health, and loved ones and the angels they just come pouring in, and they're like everything's okay. It's almost the mm. first thing they'll say. They can see. Way ahead, everything's okay, or they can see what can help the situation. But just knowing, you know, that everything is okay, or this would help it to be okay, this situation, you know, could be turned a little bit by doing this, um, is is gives so much comfort, and also takes the anxiety where the person's able to think clearer. You know, angels are able to also release anxiety and fear quickly. Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barzande, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the US Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now, daily, where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're gonna get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one -on -one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you like to see more of it, click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.